Okay, we're going to be looking at an abstraction technique here. I've done it with portraits in this occasion, but of course it doesn't have to be portraits. You could use it with uh, any of your photographs. Now, um, I'm going to talk you through how to do this then. So let me just get back to where I'd got... Uh, my images. Right, there's another little bit that says crop. So what I'd already done is selected my images. I've just done basic level editing, sort of tweak editing, so make sure you do that to yours. Um, and then I've cropped them and just placed them where I want them. So these are my four images. And we're going to be starting with this one. Now I'm actually going to drag this to the top because that's going to be my top layer. Uh, it's a really straightforward technique, it's just a lot of shortcuts and repeating the same processes, uh, but it has a really lovely effect. So, first of all, you'll notice I've selected the Rectangular Marquee Tool. Now, uh, with the Rectangular mar Marquee Tool, of course, you can create various rectangle shapes, but uh, we want to make sure we're selecting something that is a perfect square as we build down through it. So, to get a perfect square, you need to hold the Shift key whilst you select and drag, and it will make it form a perfect square now. Uh, I'm sure there are ways this could be measured, but I'm just going to play it by ear and, and cut where I want things to go. Now, before I cut that, the first thing you're going to need to do, sorry, is you actually need to duplicate that layer. So you need two copies of that layer. And then, using the square marquee tool, draw in the shape that you wish to use. So I'm just going to play it by ear as I say, throw a caution to the wind, and then delete that shape out. Now, you'll not see an immediate difference because there's the duplicated layer underneath it. So the next thing you need to do is do Command D to deselect what you've already done. Go onto the layer beneath it and just reduce that opacity and you'll be able to see where your cut out originally was. While still on that layer, we're going to go back to the rectangular marquee tool, once again using the Shift key to draw a perfect square. Then, once again, before you delete, you're going to go select and inverse, then delete the uh, the space around. Command D will then deselect that and you can increase that opacity back up. However, if you want to build down into it, we need to do more of the cutting. So once again on this layer, I'm going to select where I want to start my square using the rectangular marquee tool and the shift key to cut out an area. I've selected it and I'm going to delete it. Now, I'm not going to get rid of that selection, you need to keep that for a moment because I'm going to pop that picture in underneath by making it viewable again. But we want to see further down into that image, so I'm going to select that layer I've just seen where uh, my model has reappeared and while selecting that layer I'm going to use that same selection I've already done and delete once more. And then I'm going to deselect and then I will see the picture that I've layered underneath. So there we have a nice, unusual, um, but effective abstraction tool to work with, with any picture, not just portraits. Um, so that's one way you can work with it. I have looked at other options, for example, where instead of using layers of people, you can use, for example, bits of original artwork. So this is uh, an image of... Um, it was a watercolour stain actually uh, that I scanned and then layered up and used the various editing tools available um, on Photoshop to make bigger. And then you can create various uh, patterns, for example, or cut down into that further again to reveal various images. If I unsee this, go back to my marquee selection tool and cut out a section of that once again. Then you can still see. You can layer it down and, and work with it in various ways. But, you know, you've got lots of options while using this technique on how you can present your work. Uh, so it's something to have a play around with um, or layer up and pattern in different ways.